Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. This is happening tomorrow in Texas. And it's going to be pretending a building collapsed or something to that effect. And this is the Sign Up Genius page where they're looking for people to come out there so they can do a National Guard test. And they're explaining to you why you should be involved. Because first of all, it's fun to pretend that a building collapsed and there's blood and first responders and so forth and so on. They've turned this into a sport. And for some people, they've turned this into a job. This is what they do. This is all they do. You know what I'm saying? And if it goes well enough, who knows? It could be your next headline news. It's tough to tell. It's funny that as soon as we start talking about stuff like this, stuff like this occurred. You see what I mean? Now, this does a lot of things. These guys are talking about a stage collapsing, a building collapsing, bombs going off, so forth and so on. Well, you know what the quid pro quo would be for this particular setup? Mysterious people dropping off mysterious bombs at particular places, so forth and so on, and blah, blah, blah. It would probably be something like this. You remember these big mysterious columns that were placed in New York and nobody would tell anybody what they were? Those are pretty those are pretty straightforward. Those are the same thing they use on the Mexican border to check vehicles for drugs and so forth. Those are x-ray machines. And that's what the end game, that's what the Hegelian dialect will be. That's why nobody will talk about this because they don't want to let you know that as, as you're driving through traffic, they're going to be irradiating you and your children, whether you know it or not. That's what's behind this. That's what they get out of this. They want these things everywhere. They don't care if you have guns or not, because those machines right there will figure it out for them, because it doesn't, it doesn't let anything slide by. Unless, of course, you're a Mexican cartel and you're sneaking drugs into the United States for the CIA and other government officials. Then, of course, you can get 10, 3. It doesn't matter how many kilos you get through. It all comes through. But I digress. It just astounds me that we're getting smashed with the weather, and Texas was, and now they're getting hit with mysterious packages. Well, how do you figure out who's sending all these packages? Believe me, believe me. When you're the largest employer in the United States of America, I mean, look at all these different agencies. Somebody, everyone has somebody in their family one way or the other that's getting paid off by the government one way or the other. It is a huge cartel. And this is exactly what they want. This will be the end game. These right here. And most of us have those payless tolls on the turnpikes now where there's no more toll booths. There's just little lights like this above the highway. Well, take a look to the side because you'll start seeing these columns going up everywhere. There's a purpose and reason why they're not telling people what these things are or what they do. But that's the end game. Now, back to the drill. There's a drill tomorrow, but there's also a word in the pipeline that at the end of this month, beginning of next month, April Fool's Day, that there's going to be some sort of a casualty event where a stage collapses completely. The only thing I could find was the final four, and that does indeed happen in Texas. At any rate, this stuff is real. I don't make this up. These people are spending untold amounts of money pretending to catch bad guys pretending to catch school shooters, pretending to catch building collapses, so forth and so on. You know what I'm saying? This is what they're looking for, something that collapses, a collapse event. And then the other day, this, seriously? You see what I mean? And of course, it's always, it's always, it never, ever, ever fails. There's always somebody that was aware of this but couldn't do something, or there was an email, or there was a voice voicemail, or the FBI was following them. It's all a game. It's all a great big game to these people, and the joke's on us. I mean, what are the odds in a million years they're practicing a collapse, and then you have one over here? But don't let them fool you. This ain't it. They could have done this just because there were so many people talking about this. And believe it or not, our voices matter. I've told you a zillion times. They use real-time data 
to adjust. I mean, what is better than that? You're going around the world committing crimes of all sorts, and you have instant information via Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, so forth, so on, and blah, blah, blah. At any rate, thank you to Amy from Truth Happens. She's the one that got all this stuff together. The links will be in the description. Pay attention. Be vigil. Richie from Boston. I am out.